YouTube family. Hello, how you doing? Oh my god, can you believe that January is almost over? I know a lot of people say the month is slow, but to me, I think the month is fast. I mean, today's 24th, so I think the month is very fast, but some people say the month is slow. But anyway, thank god we made it this far, you know. A lot of people actually saw the beginning of this year, beginning of this month, even the beginning of this week, and they're gone, you know. But we are not better than them, so. Well, even if when they are slow or fast, we are still here. So praise God, Hallelujah. Anyway, so I'm on my, we're on our way out right now. So I'm here with Engineer Yakub. What up, Good. Uh uh. Not fight. <laughs> Why you can't look like that? Hello, hello. How you doing? You know, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, I was trying to tell you guys something yesterday while I was on my way to home to the doctor's office, but um, I just go. I think I got distracted, you know, with everything that was going on, trying to pay attention to the kids and everything. So anyway, what I was trying to tell you guys yesterday was, it's never too late to start all over. Never too late to start all over. Never, never too late to start all over. Cause. Why not? So I was just sitting there, we're just talking to myself, you know, based on things that are going on in my personal life, you know. So I was like, and you feel that I'm getting close to, to 40, you know. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be 40. Before you know it, you know, I had a dream, I have a vision of what I wanted to accomplish before getting to 40. And I was like, man, it's very really close. 40 is almost, I'm almost there. And I'm like, no, I still have a list of things that I've never accomplished yet. I have some things that I laid my hand on, you know, some, like, business-wise, that didn't really work out. So I kept asking myself, you know, should I try it again or try something else? And I remember the sister of mine, you know, like, whoa, this lady, she's done, I, can, I can't even tell you how many businesses she laid her hands on, you know. But one thing about her is she never gave up. So, when I thought about her, I was like, you know what, I was kind of encouraged. I was like, wow, look at her sister. She's tried so many businesses, you know, and at her age. And she never gave up. She just kept trying. So, I told myself, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to give up. I'm never going to give up. Never, never, never going to give up. So, I was able to encourage myself, you know. Looking at somebody's experience and because so I called her, we talked. So I told her what, what I was going through. I don't know, I don't know if it's um, she um, can I you know, she um, mid, midlife or um, crisis? I don't know, yeah, I think it's the I think it's called midlife crisis, anyway, whatever. So, so I was like, you know, I was, I was able to encourage myself, so you know, so I was like, you know what, let me talk to you guys. So that's what that's what happened to me last week. So let me let me just encourage them. Now I told myself, no, I am not giving up. You know, never would I ever give up. No, I'm gonna go register that business. Praise God. I am going to Baltimore. I'm gonna register but that business and I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Just wanna encourage my YouTube family. No matter what you're going through in life, please don't give up. And guess what? Please don't give up, and it's never too late to start all over. If if you're in school, or if you maybe maybe um if you're in college, and you feel like college is not working out for you, please don't give up. Trust me, college. I know college is hard, especially in this country. It doesn't even matter where you are. College is difficult. You know, it's hard. And I'm, I've never seen anybody that says, "Oh wow, you know, uh, college was easy for them." Hey, if you're that kind of person, that college was easy for you or college is easy for you praise god for your life so if you're that kind of person that is, or you've been in school for donkey years please don't give up okay please don't give up trust me you're gonna finish one day you will finish one day you know if you have to take one class per semester trust me who cares i know sometimes you know remember when i was in, when i was still in school people always ask me ah you're not done, you're still in school. Yes, I was still in school. Are you gonna pay for my school fees? Eh? You're not gonna pay for my school fees. Why are you worried about how long I'm staying in school? Don't worry about it, okay? 
God bless you. You, you are done, eh? It's okay. So please, don't give up. Go get a degree, please. Get a degree. And if you are the, if you are, the, if you are the kind of person that you think about starting a business, please. You know, if that God gave, like my pastor always tell us, God gave you that vision. God gave you that vision. God gave you that business idea for a purpose. Yes. So please, don't let that vision die. Don't let that dream die. You know, go after it. Go get it. Trust me. All you need to do is to register that business. Don't worry about where that money is going to come from. God will provide. For the fact that God actually laid that business idea in your mind, He will provide. I'm telling you, God will provide. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wish I could just say you more right now, but trust me. I will later. God will provide. Just go ahead and register that business. It doesn't cost that much money to register a business. Register that business and trust that God will provide for you. But if you, you're not going to be in your house, just keep thinking of where the money is going to come from. You have to make the move and just allow God to lead you. Make the move. Leave your house. Find out how to register the business and go for it. And just believe that. I talk to people. Ask if, ask if, get on the internet. Find out how to get a free, um, a free grant. Yes, you can get a free grant from government. Learn, find out, do your research, talk to people. Because, especially in this country, in this America, if you don't ask, nobody will tell you. That's the honest truth. If you don't ask, nobody will tell you. So, ask the brand, get information. If you are going through, if, if, if you are in a relationship, you know, relationship to me is partnership. You know, I'm talking about relationship as in husband and wife, man and woman. You, if you're in a relationship with a guy and it's not working out, Seek canceling. If it's not working out, I'm not a boyfriend girlfriend. I'm talking about married married couple now. Boyfriend girlfriend, you know, if you're in a relationship with that boy, that boy, yes, in a relationship with a guy, and it's not working out, my dear sister, leave. Okay, I don't care about. Don't worry. Even if at 29, okay, it's okay. I broke up with a guy at 20 when I was 29 before. So don't worry about that. Break up. Trust me, because if you stay in that relationship with him, the, he, he's gonna block. He's, he's gonna be an injured for the right person to come in your life. Yes, if you're not happy, and he if, not, if he is not ready to make a change, if the guy is not willing to make a change, if the guy is not willing to do the right thing for you for for, for the relationship to work, my dear sister, carry your bag. Run, eh? If you take off your shoe and run, run, run for your life. Run for your future. Don't be. Don't stay with him. Be, don't stay with him because oh, you're looking at your age. Oh my God, I'm 29. No straight. Oh my God, I'm 29. Oh my God, I'm 30. If you can, if you want to pass, you are not even married yet. You want to pass it, pass, 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 pass it. So when you get married, you want to keep passion. Am I there? How long will you continue passion? You are just boyfriend and girlfriend though. Don't worry about how long you have been together. No, don't worry about it. You can start all over. What makes you think going towards your thirties? You are not going to find the right person. It takes two to make it work in a relationship. If the guy is not willing to put anything into it, or you are the one making all the effort, what makes you think it's going to make a difference when you get married to him? So please, don't stay in that relationship because you're looking at your age. Don't stay in that relationship because you're thinking about what people are going to stay. What people are going to say so please it's not too late for you to start all over believe me don't when you leave but just know your odds that you've done everything possible to make it work if he's not willing to meet you halfway my dear sister please leave please leave call on god pray about it god will send the right person to you it's not too late to start all over Please, it's not too late. And and I'm also going to talk to people that are struggling in their house. If you're living in a big house, you're struggling to pay your mortgage. Please. And you're having sleepless nights. Paying that mortgage in that house. I beg, don't kill yourself working. If you're working all the overtime, all the, we're, we're, we're trying to kill all the overtime just to pay a mortgage, does it really worth it? No. Leave that house if you have to move it into an apartment for the meantime. 
before you get your back to before you get yourself together if you have to move i know sometimes you know we all want to rush and get it out and everything oh fuck then let them find out that oh that we can't even afford the house or you know, you move into the house with your partner and the partner now leaves what happened you're gonna be stuck paying all the mortgage by yourself and then you have to work in seven days a week you have to work in two jobs 16 hours every single day just to meet up please don't let because of pride because of pride you don't want to leave that house you don't want to you don't want to leg up that house to move into the apartment please it's not too late for you to start all over let go of that house Move into a small apartment that you know you can afford, even if it's a studio that you can afford. Please make that move. Move into a small place until you are able to get yourself together. It's never too late. If you've laid your hand in 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 in, in a business, and you know, or maybe you or maybe or maybe you 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 did a business with somebody, and let her find out that the person duped you. And you want to kill yourself. Those, why? Why would you want to commit suicide because somebody drew you? No. It's part of life. I know it's, it's I know, trust me. It was very painful. I've experienced it before. But guess what? It's okay. It's a learning experience. You learn from it. You cry. Think of, okay, what next? That's what my mom always tell me. What next? You know? Cry. Think of, think about it. And move on. Oh, I think they have uh, the apartment complexes up here. And move on. Okay? So please don't commit suicide. And if you are going through depression, talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Don't, don't the last the last thing you want to do is to take your own life. The last thing you want to do is to take your own life. So please. I love you guys so much and I just feel like I should just share this with you guys no matter what you're going through one thing I want you to always understand is that it's never too late it's never never too late to start all over yes you can start all over cry you guys of course it's okay to cry oh my god please cry 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 and get over it and pray to God and say God I've done all I can do I've done all I can do my but I but but, 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 but but now I'm here God I've surrendered all to you take over God and ask God to take over and ask God to lead you trust and believe me when you humble yourself and cry over and cry to God he will he will, he will make a way for you he will God will always make a way for you trust me he this may not work out the way we want it sometimes. So this may this may not work out like we expected it to be. But trust me, He will always make a way. Trust me, God will always make a way. Trust Him, believe Him. He will make a way for you. It's never too late, my sister. Don't worry about your age. All your friends are getting married. Fine. Praise God for their life. Be happy for them. No, don't feel bad. Go over there, be happy for them, rejoice with them. Your own turn is coming. Your friend is married with children. Praise God for her. Your own children are coming. Yes, your own children are coming. Believe that God with those. Your friend are having your friend is driving a big car. Praise God for her. Your own car is coming. But guess what? Most of them, eh? They're paying car notes. It's car notes, so. How many people you just tell me? How many people do you know in this America that pay cash down for a car? Hello? How many people do you know in this America that pay cash down for a car? And you want to kill yourself of them? Kill yourself because somebody is driving a Range Rover. Somebody is driving Lamborghini. Eh? Did they pay cash for it? I beg. You better buy something that you know you can afford. Even if it's five hundred. I know you get actually paid. I know you get a she um. She, no, if yeah, I know you get it. I don't want to put a business out there. She got it very small car for five hundred dollars, and she's driving that thing, rook, 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 just like that. Eh? The same way that Range Rover, the same place that Range Rover we get to, that that five hundred dollar car too we get there. Yes. So why do you want to kill yourself? Number one is driving a brand new car. 
If it's a studio you can afford as an apartment, you better get it. Don't worry about that person that's living in one million dollar house. So they don't even sleep in the house. They're working 24/7 just to pay that mortgage, and you're killing yourself. You are you're, you're killing yourself. You're, you 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 are jealous of them. Don't be jealous of them, oh, please. Appreciate what you have. Praise God. Just believe that your own blessing is coming too. Okay. So please. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. So. I'll talk to you guys later. So I just want to encourage you guys and just tell you that it's never too late. It's never, never too late to start all over. Okay? If you have to go back to school, please go back to school. Oh, let me tell you. I have a friend of mine. She actually, she had a baby when we um, when we in, in high school. Guess what? Now she's in college with her son. She didn't give up. So just because she had a baby when you were in high school, just because she had a baby at a very young age, that's not the reason why you should give, give up your dream. No, you can always go back to school. What made you think? Well, why, why will you now? Why will you not give up on yourself? Why will you give up on your dream because because you got pregnant? No, it's never too late. It's never. It's never. I'll tell you guys. I stand my hand and I have cup in my teeth. So mm, when I pronounce it, I'm listening very well. It's never too late for my dear sister. Never, never too late. That boy wants to leave you. Let him go. God will provide the right person, okay? You don't worry about because of, oh my God, I posted all his picture on Facebook. I posted all his picture on Instagram. So what? So what? People will talk about you for some few months or whatever. They will get over it. So you want to kill yourself because the guy, because the guy left you. My dear sister. Ha, don't kill yourself, oh. There's so many, so many guys that will come, that will come after that. Let him go. Trust and believe me. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, "Oh my God, I am beautiful." I've been there before, son. I'm telling you what I know. Trust me. Okay. Never too late to start all over. I love you guys.